Hello, welcome to another fun episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making a spicy twist to potato salad. It's really going to heat things up and make your mouth dance with joy. I call it spicy southwestern potato salad. You can find this recipe and a whole lot more at thefatveganchef.com. Go there now for the recipe. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are cutting board with a damp towel underneath. You're going to need a regular chef knife, a paring knife, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a pan, a mixing bowl, a strainer, mixing spoon, rubber spatula, and a uh, offset spatula. You'll also need a pot with a lid and a cast iron skillet or something else kind of heavy. I prefer cast iron skillet though. The ingredients that you'll need to make my spicy southwestern potato salad are two tablespoons of oil, two pounds of Idaho potatoes that's been boiled for five minutes, cooled, peeled, and then diced into medium to large dice. One quarter of a cup of red onion that's been medium to small diced. One bell pepper of any color that's been medium diced, and I'm using green in this case. Again, you can use any color that you want to. One eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. One cup of vegan chipotle mayonnaise and you can either buy it store-bought or if you would like to make your own get some plain vegan mayonnaise and a can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce put in two to three adobo or two to three peppers and a tablespoon or two of adobe sauce depending upon how spicy you want it so just taste try two first and one tablespoon of adobe sauce. And if it's not spicy enough, put in another and another tablespoon until it's the heat level that you like. Remember, this is gonna be mixed with other ingredients. So even if it is just a little bit too spicy, the other ingredients will, will make it a little bit milder. You'll need one and a half teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one half teaspoon of fresh ground grains of paradise, one cup of small diced celery, one quarter cup of sliced green onions, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, one half cup of sliced black olives, one tablespoon of mustard, this is Dijon mustard, uh, juice of one lime, and two tablespoons of fresh minced cilantro. Welcome back everybody. Glad that you have all of your ingredients gathered. So now I'm at my stove. I have my cast iron skillet getting nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cook up the potatoes. What we want to do is put in our two tablespoons of oil in a hot thick pan like a cast iron skillet. I'm going to go ahead and add in our two pounds of Idaho potatoes that's been par cooked. Be careful putting this in because the oil is going to be hot. Next we will add in our eight teaspoon of red pepper flakes and our half teaspoon of black pepper. Now we'll go ahead and give this a stir. And I have my pan on medium high heat. What we're going to do is going to let this sit and cook. We want to give the potatoes a nice brown skin. We're going to uh, let this sit, get brown, stir, sit and get brown and stir until the potatoes are nice and brown. Don't over stir this is what I'm trying to say. Okay. 
my potatoes have turned mostly brown here and so now it is going to be time to do the next step what we'll do is we'll put in our red onion and our green bell peppers and we're going to cook this until the onions and the peppers are done onions should be about translucent and peppers should be cooked through so we'll give so I'm going to give this a stir cook this for a few more minutes stirring occasionally and then we will go ahead and put this in the refrigerator to cool and while that's cooling I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce so I'm going to finish cooking these and I'll see you over at the counter to make the dressing for the uh, uh, southwestern potato salad our peppers and onions are done cooking so I'm going to go ahead and put this in a pan put it in the refrigerator cool it down and I'm going to go ahead and make the dressing so I'll see you over at the counter to make the dressing I have my potato mixture in the refrigerator cooling while that's cooling I'm going to go ahead and make the dressing and basically what we're going to do is just put everything in the mixing bowl at this point doesn't matter what order this is the one cup of vegan chipotle mayonnaise one and a half teaspoons of sea salt one teaspoon of sugar one half teaspoon of grains of paradise one cup of small diced celery one quarter cup of sliced green onions one tablespoon of yeast flakes one tablespoon of Dijon mustard the juice of one lime one half cup of black olive slices two tablespoons of minced cilantro and I'm going to go ahead and just mix this up till everything is nice and incorporated and then what I'll do is I'll put this in the refrigerator and let this cool down and once the potatoes and the dressing are completely cool then I'm going to go ahead and combine them so uh, give it a couple hours and I'll see you back at the counter once everything's cool it's been a few hours my potatoes and my dressing are cool so I'm going to go ahead and get these mixed up gently fold the dressing into the potatoes that looks pretty incorporated there so now we'll go ahead and put this in a bowl there we go just like that and this is my spicy southwestern potato salad and I really hope that you enjoyed this really easy really tasty recipe the recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com if you found this video useful please consider donating at tfbc.org forward slash donate you can find me at all of your favorite social media sites where I share more than what you see here Please spread the word by telling your friends and family about my website and what I do. Thank you very much. Have a great day.